So nice to get this break from my cleaning duties. Yorn is the best punch. You should hear him sing. Yorn is the best of the bunch. You should hear him sing. Solitude wouldn't be the same without the fire festival. City owes you a debt of gratitude. Wait, hear my plea. My master, he is lost between worlds, and I cannot bring him back. Why does everyone ignore me? Why do you turn your heads? Why will no one help me? Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as a Jarl. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend, said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. Until next time. to get this break from my... Not in your life. It's dangerous in there. And Falk doesn't even like me and Erdie going in every year to clean out the spiders. You can catch me at the Blue Palace. Burn the king! Burn the king! Not in your life. It's dangerous. If you really want to, just be careful of the ghost. He snuck up on me once and scared me sick. It took a week for me to feel better. I should be getting back to work. More fun talking, though. You're in the bunch. You should hear him sing. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid.
goes right through me. Besides, I have so many things to do. So many undesirables to contend with. Naysayers, buffoons, detractors. Why, my, my headsman hasn't slept in three days. You are far too hard on yourself, a dear, sweet, homicidally insane Pelagius. What would the people do without you? Dance, sing, smile, <laughs> grow old. You are the best septum that's ever ruled. Well, except for that Martin fella. But he turned into a dragon god, and that's hardly sporting. You know, I was there for that whole sordid affair. Marvelous time! Butterflies, blood, a fox, a severed head, ho ho ho, and the cheese! To die for. Yes, yes, as you've said countless times before. How to rumpf! Well, then, if you're going to be like that, perhaps it's best I take my leave. A good day to you, sir. I said good day! Yes, yes, go. Leave me to my ceaseless responsibilities and burdens. How rude! Can't be bothered to host an old friend for a decade or two. Inside the mind of Pelagius, silly. Oh, is it your first time? Pelagius the Third. Now, surely even you know about Pelagius's decree. On his deathbed, oh, and this was inspired, he forbade death. That's right, death outlawed. Really? Ooh, ooh, what kind of message? A song? A summons? Wait, uh, I know. A death threat written on the back of an Argonian concubine. Ah, those are my favorites. Well, spit it out, mortal. I haven't got an eternity. Actually, I do. Little joke. But seriously, what's the message? Were you now? By whom? Wait! Don't tell me. I want to guess. Was it Molag? No, no. Little Tim, the toy maker's son, ah? Huh? Oh, the ghost of King Lysandus? Ah, oh, or was it one? Yes, Stanley, the talking grapefruit from Passwall. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm wrong on all accounts, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> no matter. Honestly, I don't want to know. Why ruin the surprise? But more to the point, do you, tiny? Puny, expendable little mortal. Actually think you can convince me to leave. Because that's crazy. You do realize who you're dealing with here. Jolly good guess. But only half right. I'm a mad god. The mad god, actually. It's a family title. Gets passed down from me to myself every few thousand years. Now you, you can call me Anne-Marie. But only if you're partial to being flayed alive and having an angry immortal skip rope with your entrails. If not, then call me Sheagorath, Daedric Prince of Madness. Charmed. Now that's the real question, isn't it? Because honestly, how much time off could a demented Daedra really need? So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave. That's right, I'm done. Holiday complete. Time to return to the humdrum day to day. On one condition. You have to find the way out first. Well, good luck with that. Ha! I do love it when the mortals know they're being manipulated. Makes things infinitely more interesting. Care to take a look around? This is not, I dare say, the Solitude Botanical Gardens. Have you any idea where you are? 
where you truly are. Welcome to the deceptively verdant mind of the Emperor Pelagius the Third. That's right! You're in the head of a dead, homicidally insane monarch! <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Can I still rely on my swords and spells and sneaking and all that nonsense? Sure. Sure. Or you could use... The Wabachak! Huh? Huh? Didn't see that coming, did you? Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very delicate state of mind. Now this is a sad path. Pelagius hated and feared many things. Assassins, wild dogs, the undead, Pumpernickel. But the deepest, keenest hatred was for himself. The attacks he makes on himself can be seen here fully. They're always carried out on the weakest part of his fragile self. The self-loathing enhances Pelagius' anger. Ah, but his confidence will shrink with every hit. You must bring the two into balance. Yeah. Here we go. You are someone out here. Small problem, or perhaps it's a big problem. Maybe if you shrunk Someone the whole there. thing down, here we go. Time to end this little game. Here we go. Is that the best you can do. Wonderfully done. Pelagius is finally ready to love himself and continue to never. Good for me. I find everyone being out to get you so terribly entertaining. <laughs> you might find it less so. You see, Pelagius' mother was, well, let us say, unique. Although I suppose, in the grand scheme of things, she was fairly average for a septum. That woman wielded fear like a cleaver. Or did she wield a cleaver and make people afraid? I never get that part right. Oh, but she taught her son well. Pelagius learned in a very early age that danger could come from anywhere, at any time, delivered by anyone. The objective here is simple, you simpleton. Use your wabajak to defeat the enemy while they do the same. Gone. Pelagius is under the delusion that he's safe. That means you've helped him out, sort of. And we're that much closer to home. More 
Marshal? Insufferable. Yes, yes, you're entirely brilliant. Conquering madness and all that. Blah, 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 blah. But you're not done yet! And you can still die. Do you mind? It's a very delicate state of mind. You have headed down the path of dreams. Unfortunately for you, Pelagius suffered night terrors from a young age. All you need to do is find something to wake our poor Pelagius up. You'll find his terrors easy to repel, but persistent. That's something to crow about. With Pelagius up and about, you're moving right along. We'll both be home in no time. Yes? Yes? such a subjective term. I think treated is far more appropriate, don't you? Like one does to a rash or an arrow in the face. Ah, but no matter. Heartless mortal that you are, you've actually succeeded and survived. I am first to honor my end of the bargain. So, congratulations. You're free to go. I have been known to change my mind. So, go. Really? Pelagius Septim the Third, once the mad emperor of Tamriel, now so boringly sane. I always knew he had it in him. Well, I suppose it's back to the Shivering Isles. A trouble Haskell can get into while I'm gone, simp, muggles the mind. Let's make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Clothes, beard, check. Luggage! Luggage! Now where did I leave my luggage? Master, you've taken me back. Does this mean we're going home? I'm oh, busy happy doing time. The I can't wait to... Very... Yep. Yes, yes, that's quite enough celebration. Let's send you ahead, shall we? As for you, a little mortal minion, feel free to keep the Waba Jack as a symbol of my... I'll just take the damn thing. You take care of yourself now. And if you ever find yourself up in New Sheo, do look me up. We can share a strawberry tart. Ha <laughs> ha! Ta ta! Do you mind? I'm busy doing the fish stick. It's a very.
Winking ski risk or what do you need? Even my clothes be shot. From the sons of Skyrim, Talos guide you. Trust me. Better clear out.
come here. Poof! You're mine. Close, Vietnam. 